Rachel with Easy Peasy Meals, and today I want to talk to you about my favorite time of year, tax return season. Now, I love tax return season because we always get a pretty hefty return. This year, I'm going to use a part of my tax return to do something for me, but also for you. And I'm going to use it to improve the offerings on Easy Peasy Meals. That means a new studio in my house with lighting and sound and an extra camera so I can do high quality HD videos like this one and some fun blog props. So while I didn't get a million dollars back, today I'm going to show you how I'm celebrating my return with million dollar bars. They're one of my favorite bar treats because they have three layers of deliciousness. We're going to start with the shortbread and so you're going to need a mixer, flour, sugar, butter, salt, and milk. So it's super simple. So first you're gonna cream together your butter and your sugar. And put it on your mixer and cream it together. Once it's nice and creamed together, you're going to simply add your flour and your milk. So it just takes about a tablespoon of milk, not a whole lot, just enough to help it stick together. So then we're going to turn that back on and add just a pinch of salt. So I usually just do like one or two turns on here. So about halfway through, go ahead and scrape your sides down just to make sure that your um, butter is incorporating well with your flour. And then turn it back on and let it mix again. When it's done, it'll be nice and crumbly. It's not going to look like a, a wet dough. So you can take a look at that and see it's nice and crumbled and well mixed together. So this is your base, your shortbread crust. Okay, once your mixture for your shortbread crust is ready, you're going to take your pan and you're gonna spray it with a nonstick spray, then line it with parchment. And just kind of push your parchment down into the pan. It's gonna pop back up, it's okay. So then take your mixture and just dump it right onto your parchment. Once you have it in there, you're just going to use your hands to press it down into an even layer. Don't worry, it's supposed to be as crumbly as it looks. Then you're going to pop it in your oven and bake it for about 20 minutes, okay. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the caramel, and the caramel is my favorite part, but it's also the easiest part to mess up. You're gonna take all of your caramel ingredients and put them in your pan. Start with your butter so it's on the bottom and can melt faster and easier. And then just go ahead and pour the rest of your ingredients over the top. I love the flavor vanilla brings to caramel. So I'm just going to add one teaspoon of it in. Give it a quick stir to mix things up the best you can. And then you're going to take it in and put it on your stove on a medium high heat. And you're going to stir continuously and bring it to a very soft boil. Once your shortbread's done and out of the oven, you're going to take your caramel and you're going to pour your caramel right over your shortbread into your pan. It'll spread out nice and evenly, so you don't have to worry too much about that. And then you're just going to let it set up. It takes about two hours. You can put it in your fridge if you want to speed the process along a little bit. Now we've got our caramel in our shortbread crust and it's all set up. And now we're going to top it with chocolate. We've got semi-sweet and white and we're going to melt them and spread them over the top. So to do that, just put them in a microwave safe bowl and microwave them for 30 second intervals, stirring between so that the chocolate does not burn. Okay, so this is after my second 30 second interval. As you can see, it's starting to get nice and melted. Maybe pop it back in for 10 or 15 more seconds. Every microwave is a little bit different, so based on your microwave. So we're just going to go ahead, we're just gonna spoon it on over our caramel here. Okay, so I'm gonna spread it around. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're still gonna add our white chocolate, so kind of get it to the edges. Okay, so I melted my white chocolate too, and now I'm just gonna put little dollops of it across the million dollar bars. 
and then we're going to use the spatula to kind of swirl it around to get a really pretty, pretty look. Okay, then you're going to take some large crystal salt, and you can skip this part, but I love a little sweet and a little salty. I think it makes for the perfect combination. You just give it a sprinkling, and that's all there is to it. Once it's set up, you can cut it and enjoy. Okay, our million dollar bars are set up. Let's cut into them. Magical million dollar bars. Now, you might not be getting a million dollars back from your tax return. I know I'm certainly not, but there are ways you can max out your return and get the most for your money. And the way I like to do that is by thinking long term. For me, it meant investing back in my blog and creating these high quality videos for you guys to be able to view. And for you, it might mean something different. One thing you might consider is Walmart Family Mobile. They offer great 4G LTE service at a very low price tag. In fact, it's much cheaper than any other service out there, and you can use some of your tax time income to make the initial purchase of your phone and then save money all year long. I love this phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy Avant because with the 4G LTE service, I can stream videos right from my phone in my kitchen wherever I am, like this one. So thanks for joining me today, and make sure you make million dollar decisions and celebrate that tax return and your savings with these million dollar bars. Be sure to come back next week and join us on easypeasymails.com and see our new latest video. And as always, if you have any questions, be sure to ask using hashtag AskEasyPeasy, which I'll check out and answer. Thank you so much.